Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Sandoval Incident 44, and of course, if you want to try this for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description, as always, alright? Now, this is the second game in the Urbex Incident series, which started with Grainwind Incident 77 that I played on the channel a few weeks ago. Chances are, if you enjoyed that video, you'll enjoy this one as well. I certainly hope that's the case. Again, we're going to be doing a lot more urban exploration, only this time we're going to be exploring an old abandoned sanitarium. Really hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Let's play the tape. Alright, here we are. And it looks like we've got the same sort of overlay UI as last time. Again, we've brought our camera, so we're going to record absolutely everything. Including this security notice. That all visitors must report to security. I don't think I've done that yet, and to be honest, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to bypass that step. <laughs> Is this how I got in? Through this hole in the wall? I oh, lovely. Looks like I've got a travel companion. Lucky me. You're not going to flick that off the lens? No? Okay. Right. It's quite dark, isn't it? Ooh. Perfect timing! More of that, please. <laughs> yeah, keep that coming. Right on cue. Yeah, I, I think I have brought a flashlight with me, but it doesn't work very well. It's quite... It's quite dimly lit, isn't it? Right, I do see some steps and... What was that? Did someone just smash something? That wasn't me, was it? Hmm. It sounded like it came from above me, maybe. So, let's go up these stairs and let's see where this goes. Am I alone here? I don't know. Alright, we... Oh, <laughs> of course I'm not alone! I've got my creepy crawly companion with me. Looks like we've got some patient beds up here. I guess I crawled in through the basement, didn't I? Alright. Wait, whoa. What was that? Wait, whoa. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing flashes of someone standing here. Wait, oh shit, okay. What What was that? Just a weird disruption. We got a lot of those in the previous game, actually. Right, what's this? Julie's Diary, page one. Was it Julie that I saw a brief glimpse of? Hmm. Patient number 65821. They've upped my dosage of rifampin, combined with isoniazid and methambutol. The doctors have told me if I'm lucky, I should be out of here in nine months. I'm thankful for the help I've been provided. I can't wait to get back home and sleep in a normal bed. This place feels like a never-ending loop of the same events, repeating and repeating. I long for the day in which I can finally travel back home to my family. Hmm. Something's telling me you never got that chance, which is why I saw a glimpse of you there. Okay, seriously, who is smashing the crockery? What's going on? Let's have a little look around, shall we? Tipped over wheelchair. Kind of par for the course in a place like this. A mannequin? Now, why are you here? Just for creepiness sake? Hmm. Okay, something here. Ah, this time I don't have to read the newspapers upside down. Stomping out tuberculosis is the utmost and most important thing for the future of the city of Sanoval. We've been taking action and precautions towards keeping the spread at bay. Furthermore, the new Sanoval Sanitarium has space for many patients with plans of future expansion and more floors added to the building. Okay. Sounds like a pretty good start, but something's telling me it's all going to go tits up. Alright. Should we keep heading up? Let's keep heading up, shall we? Nothing down here. What have we got? Hang on. C to crawl. All right. Why are you telling me that now? Oh, that's why. Hang on. Let's get these out. Oh, jeez. That was pretty well placed. I did not expect that. I should have expected that after the last game, but I didn't. <laughs> right. Let's see. Through here? There's even a nice little lamp. Ooh. Oh boy. That didn't sound good. We're outside. Overlooking the forest. Okay. Oh dear. There's patient beds out here as well, yeah. Was this some form of punishment? You get to sleep outside in the rain if you've been bad? Okay. Where is this taking me? Back down to the basement? Barricaded the door with a bed. Ingenious. 
Okay. I don't think I can have a look inside this, can I? No, and I certainly can't pull the bed away. Okay, alright, fair enough. I'm just wondering if I'm going to find... Ooh, more jump scares. No, no. <laughs> I was going to say, more documents around here. Yeah. Maybe more of Julie's diary. That would be nice. Someone keeps smashing things. Yeah. Let's get inside, shall we? Well, let's go down this side. Where's this gonna go? Ooh! Okay, that keeps happening. Alright. Is it safe? Safe enough. Nothing here under the stairs? No? Okay. I mean, usually in horror games, that's a hot spot for items. It's like finding keys in toilets, you know? It's actually more common than you might think. Not really finding too much, so, right, let's get out of here, shall we? Okay, let's move up to the next floor. Again. Whoa! There, for creepiness sake. And again, the jump scare got me. Oh boy. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> I feel so weak. Okay. Julie? That might be another part of her diary. It is. Page two. There you go. It's been two months since I arrived here. The staff has mostly been helpful towards me. My illness, unfortunately, is progressing and becoming worse. Benjamin Vanicut has once again upped my dosage. He says that I must keep up with my medicine if I want to leave this place soon. Hmm. Right. Okay. Are we going to find a page of her diary on every floor? Maybe. A lot of wheelchairs here. Nothing on them. Uh, something else over here. Another newspaper. No one is safe. That's a headline you want to see, isn't it? No one is safe from the disease known as tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is one of the world's most deadly diseases. Every day, hundreds of thousands of people lose their lives to this horrible disease. The disease usually affects the lungs in 90% of cases, with symptoms of coughing, hemoptysis, chest pain, shortness of breath, fever, weight loss, respiratory failure, and ultimately leading to an early death for people of all ages. We must all be vigilant fighting this disease and avoid close contact to reduce the spread. Dr. Benjamin Vanicut of Sanival Sanitarium has said he is at the forefront of lung surgery for those severely affected, and he will save as many lives as he possibly can. Hmm, okay. Got a load of birds flying around here. Uh, right. Yeah. I don't want to go out into the rain, so I'm not going to go through there. Um, let's see. Grab. All right. Wow. Whoop. These are all hitting me pretty damn hard. What is up with me? Usually that wouldn't phase me at all. I play horror games for a living. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, there you go. That was it. Just those three. When the fourth occurs, it's not going to affect me, is it? Uh, this way? What we got? Take part in America's crusade against tuberculosis. Prevent disease. Right. No holes to crawl through. What about the other side? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh... Who did that? Was that just sort of teetering on the edge for all these years? Okay. It's a really tall building, isn't it? Not exactly the layout you'd expect from a sanitarium. Okay, hang on. We can go behind this wall here. Alright. Hey, ooh, what was that? <laughs> uh, there's a note here, actually. Okay, this time it's not Julie's Diary. Uh, it looks like this week's dishes. So, on Monday you get chicken broth. Tuesday it's steamed veg and rice. Wednesday, canned soup and bread. Thursday, herbal soup and bread. And Friday, beef and potatoes. Absolute and utter rest of the mind and body. And eat nourishing food and get plenty of fresh air. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Seems like it. Yeah, I don't really fancy eating right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Honestly, I really do enjoy the lightning strikes. Don't enjoy that, though. That kind of spooked me, but not quite as much as the first three. Who the fuck keeps smashing things? Stop it, please. 
Right. Another newspaper, I think. As the Great White Plague spreads in the city of Sanival and soars to unbelievable numbers, it is at utmost urgency that we do all that we can to reduce the spread of tuberculosis. This week, more than 100,000... Wait. 100.000 cases were reported in Sanival. We recommend voting for a politician that supports more government funding for building more sanitariums in order to help fight this wretched disease. That is all for this week's story. Stay safe and stay tuned for more information. Sounds more like a TV Ooh, broadcast. What we got here? Is that a girl or a doll? Either way, carrying a cat. I love it. Wait, is that... There's a camera here. Interesting. An old broken vintage camera. A digital one? <laughs> fine, fine, alright. Lots and lots of TVs. Oh boy, alright. Oh, I'm sorry to say, I don't think this patient's gonna make it. No. Alright. Is that it? I think that might be it. Um. Around the corner, we have a mannequin standing on one leg. I'm actually quite impressed. That's some balance you got there. <laughs> Not so much creepy as impressive. What's with the TVs? Hmm. Right, okay. Up again. Up again. Let's go this way. Whoa! Wait, where's that coming from? Definitely not alone here. We've got a film being projected? I can only just about see the projector, but right. The Philadelphia Health Council? And Philadelphia General Hospital. Okay. Hey, oh, shit. Probably like an old PSA about TB, I imagine. Hmm. I can barely hear what he's saying, unfortunately. Right, let's just continue looking around. Loads, loads more beds. Anything around here? What's tucked around the corner? Right, nothing too interesting. Go to rep whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, <laughs> Julie, I presume. I was gonna say we got a, an old radio here or something, but no. Okay, can't use that. But I can have a look at this. Page three. Okay, it's now been six months since I arrived here. This week we've been enrolled in new activities, walking around in the forest nearby and gathering berries and such. I got this new small TV at my bed this month as well. It's helping me pass the time. Although sadly, my illness is still getting progressively worse. I've been coughing up. I've been coughing up blood, and the x-ray pictures reveal tuberculosis in my right lung. Benjamin Vanicut has ensured me that I must continue my treatment. Right, yeah, okay, I suppose he would. Not that the treatment's all that helpful, I don't think. Nothing else here? Okay, what the fuck am I seeing here? Oh god. Wow, okay, that's one hell of a treatment plan. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right. Something's definitely off with this place. Oh. Can I not squeeze through? Oh, I can squeeze through. Brilliant. Okay. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? Right. Okay. Well, let's, let's move on. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Looks like there's a tower outside. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I guess she's not a fan of the tower. Yeah, obey the rules of health, everyone. What we got up here? Alright. I gotta say, I quite like this. Yeah, it's got the same sort of vibe as the previous game. Some of the jump scares are working, some aren't. Uh, I think that's down to what I'm doing and the, and the timing, really. 
What's this? Okay, we've got some shackles here. The patients were shackled even during surgery. Yeah, this is a fucked up place. Ooh. Uh, is this place structurally sound? I don't know. Can't imagine this is going to end too well for me, quite honestly. Wait. Yeah, you see that sort of jump scare? That that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Okay. Something over here. Hang on. Patients receiving fresh air and caretaking on balcony floor six. Ah, right. I suppose that's much like balcony floor two, which I was on before. Okay, hang on. Hey, there we go. I don't think we've missed the page yet. It's now been eight months since I arrived here. The tuberculosis is now spread to both of my lungs. I'm having a hard time to even catch my breath. The doctors are preparing me for surgery. As I sit in this wheelchair and try and get some fresh air on the balcony. Right. Anything else? No. I keep wondering, like, is that the last I'm going to hear of Julie? I mean, she's, uh, she's probably not going to last too much longer, right? Uh, looks like that's that. Okay. Let's head back out. Um, and I guess keep on heading up? I don't know. Looks like there's... Yeah, looks like there's still more to go. Got an iron lung around here. Mm. Again, not a fan. Right, let's go. How many floors does this place have? Uh, this might be the last one. Actually, no. I think I see... <laughs> I see a staircase over there. It's not. Not quite yet. What's this? Warning. Restricted area. Well, of course. Ah, of course it requires a key. What was that that I just heard? There's something behind me, I think. What about this one? Does this require a key? No, actually. Okay. I <laughs> okay, knocked myself back with the door there. Right. Oh. Oh! The lavatories. Oh. Julie? Unlock your mind. Okay. Oh, there is something down here, actually. Page five. It's now been almost nine months since I arrived here. Surgery's due, but I'm considering fleeing this place. There are rumors of the doctors injecting us with some newly developed drug. Also, I've been seeing a hallucination of a trench coat wearing disfigured man. Me too. I'm so physically weak, I can barely make it to the bathroom. I feel this is it. This is the place that I'll die. But I must get the truth out. Benjamin Vanekart and Hans have been experimenting on us. They are keeping stuff from us, possibly due to financial gain or sick fantasies. Consider this final note my eternal goodbye. I take it there's not going to be a page six then. What the fuck is going on here? This is another treatment plan, is it? Oh, man. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? They got a key. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Don't put it back. There's a key. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Jeez. Anything else? I see there's a, a healthy supply of maggots all over you. Maybe my travel companion wants to join them? I don't know. Right. Okay, let's let's check the toilets. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. This one? Oh, hang on. Can I lift the lid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A fucking skull in the toilet. This game's ridiculous. I love it. Right. Oh, okay. Yep. I don't want to knock myself out with that. There we are. Right, so that key, is it for that door? Could be. I'll try that in a moment. Right, let's see. Here we are, unlock, yeah. Now entering the restricted area. What have we got here, a couple more iron lungs or no? Like generators or something, I'm not really sure. High voltage, either way. Probably want to stand quite clear of them. What the hell is all this? All blood? Hmm. Okay, hang on. There's something down here. Along with a body. Oh, boy. Once again, the spreading of tuberculosis in the city of Sanibal soars to new highs. 
As these past few months have seen an increase upwards of 200,000 in the city of Sandoval. How have you got a population still? What the fuck? In other news, further investigation into an ongoing lawsuit towards Sandoval Sanitarium continues. There are rumors about an insider with knowledge as to what started the fire in the kitchen. The rumors tell of the incident being intentionally caused, as well as one of the patients disappearing permanently on the night of the fire. The other patients have been talking about visions of a disfigured tall man wearing a trench coat and a hook. They say he roams the halls at night looking for people to kidnap into the forest. Some even claim he was the same patient that started the fire and got hurt in the process and then escaped. But something must have brought him back. This could all just very well be side effects and hallucinations from pharmaceutical drugs. That's all for this week. And there you go, right. That's all we find in here? Honestly, after finding that key, I was hoping for something a little juicier, you know? But, alright. Right. So, yeah, I think we can keep on going up. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is Benjamin Vanekart, the lead surgeon. Right. I feel like I've seen his face before. And I don't think that was his name. <laughs> Danger, no trespassing. Well, again, I'm going to ignore the signs. Here we are, on the roof, and what the fuck? Okay, something's... Something sprung a leak up here. What is that? Like a water tower that's toppled over? There is actually a, a nicely placed ramp up here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, right. What the hell is going on with that bird? He doesn't know which way he's going. Right, so, uh, why am I up here? There must be a reason, right? I mean, why was this ramp so delicately placed? Oh, no, not to trap me. No! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I haven't made it this far just to get soft locked. Uh, we've got a body under a sheet over here. This is insane. Who murdered all these people? Well, from the sounds of it. A doctor and this guy with a hook. Uh, oh, the closure of the sanitarium. Here we go. The spread of tuberculosis is now out of control, with upwards of 500,000 new cases a day. The facility is being sued for multiple cases of fraud, experimentation on patients with drugs and terrible living conditions being hidden away from officials. Benjamin Vanekart has been accused of torturing and experimenting on patients. A woman named Julie has spoken out in hope of the media picking up on this. Furthermore, missing people reports have been increasing around the area since the building caught on fire in the kitchen area in 1939. Patients have been experiencing nightmares for years on end of a disfigured trench coat wearing hook wielding tall man. Now that is a fucking sentence. Many say that this is just a phenomena and side effect of normal treatment, similar to how our brains are coded to see faces in everything, and similar to how some see shadow people when heavily medicated. Nonetheless, with all these things combined, the facility has been forced to shut down as the long-pending lawsuit won over Sanival Sanitarium. Right. Good. From everything that I've seen, good. Okay. Uh, do I fancy a shower? No. Oh, there's that bird again. Still trying. <laughs> Anything over here? No? Probably a good thing, actually. No newspapers, no bodies. This corner? No? I... Ooh, okay. I think I actually can jump off. Uh, this game does have multiple endings, I think, like the last one. Maybe that's one of the endings. Nothing over here, either? Okay, right. Well... You know, we're at the end of the line, right? We've explored everything, pretty much. It really does feel like I should do something up there, but I, I didn't see any prompts and... Hmm, I don't know. The only thing I can think of doing is actually just returning and, and just getting out of here. Okay, hang on, hang on. What's the blue light about? It wasn't blue... Okay, hang on. There's blue light over here as well. Is that, like, some weird visual glitch or...? I think it's a television that's on. Right. Okay. Yeah, this wasn't... <laughs> what just happened? What the hell just happened? We didn't reset, did we? Oh, that was one of the endings! Reasons of Madness! 
A tape was recovered from Sandoval Sanitarium. The content within the tape shows an urban explorer's last moments before being brutally murdered by a disfigured trench coat wearing man. The person who found the tape was unable to locate the body of the victim. However, he himself was also an urban explorer, and he dug through old documents found on the surgery floor. These documents and pictures reveal that the murderer was a former patient who disappeared shortly after the fire accident in the kitchen back in 1939, which he in fact himself started to get vengeance on Benjamin Vanneker, who had secretly tortured him during his tuberculosis treatment. The fire made him horribly disfigured and the event backfired on himself. He found an abandoned cabin in the forest and lived there, meanwhile snatching people from the sanitarium throughout the years. The facility closed down in 1944 and has since been abandoned. Police have been informed and the building is set for demolition in the near future. Right. Okay. Ending one of six. I think the previous game had three endings. I think I got two of them. I'm going to see if I can get at least one or two more. Um, there was definitely something odd about those TVs being on. It's a shame I couldn't get a little bit closer. So, yeah. I'm going to try this again. Ah, look at that. I saw the TVs appear there. And presumably there's one below me as well. That's right, okay. Um... Well, going down there last time didn't end up going too well, so maybe we should actually try and go down the other way? I think I can maybe use a shortcut. There we go, yeah. Uh... Okay. Is that a police helicopter? Okay, are they looking for me? <laughs> I mean, maybe I need the help, to be honest. Right. I don't know whether to look at the TVs or not. I honestly don't know if the TVs had something to do with the ending there. Right, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's go down as far as we can. That's still playing. Oh, shit, okay. Down here. No more TVs, no more differences. Actually, there is there is one over there. So, if possible, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. What the hell? Right. I, oh! <laughs> there he is again. I think certain jump scares just happen at certain times, and you can tell when it's going to happen if you look at the top left. So I think that one happened at 3.30. Alright. There's a TV out there. Why would there be a TV out there? Okay, come on. Let's just keep on going down. Hey, whoa! Whoa! Okay. That's the guy in the trench coat, right? Okay. Was that another ending then? It was! Ending 5 of 6. That was Takedown. A tape was handed over to the CAI, Central Agency Intelligence, and the City of Sandoval's Police Task Force. Right, that explains that, I suppose. They were called to the old abandoned Sandoval Sanitarium because a fire watch worker in the distance, that would be the tower, right, uh, had seen strange lights and heard multiple screams coming from the building, so he reported it. In the footage, you can see an urban explorer entering the bottom floor trying to escape from the building as a CAI agent then appears. He then shoots and kills the disfigured trench coat killer who had been killing people for years nearby the Sandoval Sanitarium. A helicopter was also at the scene ready to extract any other possible survivors that may have been there. The building will be thoroughly searched before any more information will be made public about this event. The event has been named Incident 44. Is that the canon ending? I don't know, it seems like a better ending than the first one at least. So there you go. Let's see if we can get a third. There you go, there's the police helicopter again. I might check out the TVs again though. I walked down to that one and that got me ending one. What about this one? Does that do the same thing? Okay. Okay. Something has just happened, and I think it is different. He's still heavily sedated, but the effects are wearing off. Let's let him rot in there for a few more days and then inject him again. What? Oh shit. Oh boy, I can barely see, but is that the guy with the trench coat? Yeah. Right. He will learn. He'll never be the same. Just as my disfigured face and body never will heal from the flames. 
Leave him in the dark, Doctor. Wonderful. Right. I guess there's no way out of this. Uh, I, I don't think so. No. Right. So it shall be. We'll leave him in the darkness. If he's still breathing within a few days, we'll bring him to the others. If the darkness doesn't kill him, the spirits of Sanoval will. I do not like the sound of that. Right. There's got to be a way to, like, break this glass or something, right? So, do you get a different ending depending on which TV you look into? Maybe. Sleep. For the sun will never rise again. Okay. Well, that was definitely a different one. Which, which number is this? Let's see. Two of six. That was a cover-up and family ties. A tape was recovered from a secret room hidden within Sanibal Sanitarium by an unknown individual. The content within shows a person being drugged and interrogated within a small room. A projector is running showing a Rorschach-like image repeatedly with the intent to erase the person's identity and mind. The disfigured hook killer had family ties to one of the CAI, uh, Central Agency Intelligence, I love that, agents, as the killer was his brother. He let him take unsuspecting urban explorers from the sanitarium, as well as luring them to his abandoned cabin in the forest nearby to help him keep his urges in check after being horribly disfigured in an accident and tortured in the past at Sanivolt Sanitarium by Benjamin Vanicut. Bit more punctuation for that sentence, maybe? Jeez. Okay, we've got another TV here. Is this going to lead to another ending? No? Nothing seems to be happening to me when I look at this one. Huh. Oh, oh, right, okay. Maybe I had to step a little bit further into the kitchen area. Right. That's where this fire took place, right? Okay. So, what now? Okay. Ooh. Well, this is different. I do like how varied these endings are, yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'm somewhere out in the forest, right? Maybe I'm going to go to that guy's cabin. We're on some train tracks by the looks of it. Right, these are all train cars? Yeah, okay. I really wish I had a better flashlight. Man. Let me just about see what's going on around here. This way? Uh, no, nah, it looks like it might be a dead end. Can we crawl under? Ah, come on. That doesn't sound good. Don't know if that was just the tree blowing in the wind or someone's like wandering around. Hmm. I am definitely hearing what sounds like footsteps from here. Right, let's just let's just get a move on, shall we? This way? What was that? Oh fuck off. Am I trapped in or oh hang on, I can go this way. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's the guy with the hook. Right. Can he not see me? I don't think he can see me. Okay. Um. I, I guess I just want to go this way? I'm just sort of like walking into a void. I don't see anything on the horizon. Just train tracks that just keep on going and going and going. Okay, I ran for a long time. Nothing happened. Here I am, back again. Pretty sure that wasn't meant to happen. So, right, let's maybe go back to where I was. That guy's probably meant to be facing me, right? So I'm probably meant to be on the other track. <laughs> back through here. Right, okay. Hello. Can you see me now? <laughs> oh. Oh! Okay. There you go. That's what was meant to happen. Yeah, alright. Well, maybe an update can fix you being able to uh, sneak out of that area. So, which number's this? Four. Train tracks of blood. A recovered tape was found by a railroad worker near Sanibal Sanitarium. The footage contained within shows a man walking through the abandoned railroad tracks when suddenly a freight train appears and hits him. Shortly before this, a disfigured trench coat wearing man can be seen. 
The tape has been handed over to the city of Sandoval's local police force for further analysis and investigation. The police have not commented further on the incident to any news outlets or the public. Okay, that's four. Here we are out on the balcony with another TV. Presumably this is going to lead to another ending if I just pass by. Oh, was that both of them at once? Okay, alright. I think that's the last TV though. I don't know like how I'm possibly going to get another ending, but let's see what this one is. Oh, it's the Firewatch worker. I should check the CCTV cams on the monitor. If it all checks out, I'll go through the balcony before heading down. Ugh, who am I even talking to? These nights get lonely for sure. Right, let's see. Turn that on. Right, okay, can we cycle through the channels? That's right. Alright, everything seems pretty cool. Let's have a little look, shall we? <laughs> We've got a UFO ending. Oh, man. Brilliant. There you go. That must be the sanitarium over there, sticking out like a sore thumb. But fucking aliens, are you serious? Incredible. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. Anything different on the CCTV now that the aliens have appeared? No, I don't think so. Right, let's, let's head down, shall we? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh! That guy's killed as well. No one gets out alive, do they? Observation duty, right. A man on firewatch duty disappeared with no trace of his body anywhere within the forest nearby the old Sandoval Sanitarium. The only clue found was a recovered tape discovered by another firewatch worker. The tape shows some of the events that unfolded. The man was on observation duty as a firewatch within an outlook tower at night, when suddenly he sees UFO activity in the sky shortly after the animals in the forest go crazy, and strange lights turn on at the Sandoval Sanitarium. The man is murdered afterwards, after walking down from the tower by what appears to be a disfigured man in a trench coat. There you go, ending three. That's five of the six endings that I've got. Sorry, I couldn't do it. I cannot find this last ending. I don't know exactly what you need to do, what you need to see, what you need to bump into. Maybe there's some uh, certain events that you need to trigger for something to happen, but I've only got five of the six endings, I'm afraid. But uh, that was the Sanoval Incident 44. I hope you enjoyed it. What was your favorite ending? I think for me it's got to be the UFO one. That just came out of the blue and that just tickled me in the right way. That was brilliant. Um, Overall, quite a fun game, much like the last one. It sort of shares the same positives and negatives. I think the atmosphere is pretty great. I like the sound effects, the ambience, the atmosphere, and everything like that. Some of the jump scares work really well. Some don't. Some are off-putting. Um, but overall, yeah, I enjoyed my time with this, and hopefully you did too. I'm eager to see what comes next in the series. I'll see you then. Is this how I got in? Through this hole in the wall? Hey. Oh, lovely. It's quite dark, isn't it? Ooh. Perfect timing! Wait, ooh. What was that? Why are you telling me that now? Oh, that's why. Hang on. Let's get these out. Oh, jeez. No one is safe. That's a headline you want to see, isn't it? All right. Wow. Ooh. These are all hitting me pretty damn hard. Honestly, I really do enjoy the lightning strikes. Don't enjoy that though. This week, more than 100,000. Wait, 100.000 cases were reported in Sanoval. I'm sorry to say, I don't think this patient's gonna make it. Around the corner, we have a mannequin standing on one leg. I'm actually quite impressed. That's some balance you got there. Got a re Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, although sadly, my illness is still getting progressively worse. I've been coughing up. I've been coughing up blood, and the ex. Wow, okay, that's one hell of a treatment plan. Yeah, this is a fucked up place. Ooh. Uh, is this place structurally sound? Warning, restricted area. Well, of course. Ah, of course it requires a key. What the fuck is going on here? Can I lift the lid? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Patients have been experiencing nightmares for years on end of a disfigured trench coat wearing hook wielding tall man. Now that is a fucking sentence. 
Okay. Yeah, this wasn't. Whoa. Okay. Is that a police helicopter? Whoa. Whoa. In the past, at Sound of Old Sanitarium by Benjamin Vanicut. Bit more punctuation for that sentence, maybe? Jeez. Nothing seems to be happening to me when I look at this one. Huh. Whoosh! Oh, oh, right, okay. Can he not see me? <laughs> We've got a UFO ending. <laughs>